good afternoon everyone well good afternoon everyone think of a probability when you do like that and the children don't respond in the classroom and that is how it proves that they are not engaged so i am there to teach you how to engage your children in the classroom because you don't if you don't engage them you enrage them e n r a g e gussa dila dete hain so now probably some of the identities which i want to share today being a teacher myself i am dr dheeraj malhotra i have been a teacher for over two decades my subject was computer science still it is because i am into writing books also so that is a continuous learning for me thanks to cbsc who keeps on giving the change in syllabus so these days i am learning python for for children of class 11 to come out with a new publication so here i come i would generally talk about excellence in education which actually rolls out only when you are engaging the child in the classroom or else they are well learned themselves through www and here i say www does not mean world wide web but it means whatever whenever wherever friends it is a fact they are learning through www at their own pace without the teacher even being considered as a facilitator in the classroom because there is a new probability now when the child stands and says ma'am it is already in the book please tell us something new so there is a great great challenge before us which actually activates learning to be done the best way possible and you will wonder while i am just switching off is is this is the app which was downloaded by my children recently which says 99 ways to annoy your teachers <laughs> thanks to the app developers and when i say start annoying it says sharpen your pencil as often as possible <laughs> drop your eraser as many times as you want so we need to be extra careful in the classroom or else it is they are sleeping with their eyes open friends it is the fact when i come to learning the objective has to be curing ignorance what they know and what you don't know at times they know more than us at times they know more than us thanks to the khanacademy.com and the wonderful youtubes they play the video they run the video they pause the video they rewind the video as if they have a puppet teacher there on their screen and that is the reality today we need to cure ignorance but above all we need to respect and honor our teachers and elders who did their high school without the google or the wikipedia today they are learning on their own as somebody said in the morning teachers are no longer the sage on the stage they are the, just the facilitators or the guides on the floor friends it is a reality it is a reality with the sense that the teachers need to empower themselves as the web 3.0 the generation of the web as well rolls out everybody to be a learner and for that we need to polish our new we ways of teaching we cannot just roll out with the rectangular wheels we need to sharpen our skills and we need to discuss and talk everything related to classroom learning and above all also discuss things right from malala to obama in the classroom apart from wishing them good morning take out your books what did i do on the last turn gone are the days my dear friends we need to discuss things apart from the syllabus in order to grab the interest or the engagement of the children in the classroom we are into the second decade of the 21st century where the combination of knowledge skills and action needs to be replicated not not as an occasional occurrence but as a habit we need to learn by doing and we need to learn from our children as what 
they need to be delivered. Above all, this is what I was actually referring to, Web 1.0, Web 2.0 uh, and Web 3.0, which narrated, and let me tell you, I did not devise this, thanks to the post of FB, which has a good, good online library system. It's better we share it in reality also, rather than in the virtual world. Whatever we find on the, our posts, we have no option but to share it. Like it and share it. But in reality, we don't do that. Not even with our children. Friends, you have to learn and share, and that is what the habit you have to fall in if you want to believe in the Kaizen or the continuous development of yourself. I wish everybody here becomes a rock star teacher. Sounds great, no? The teachers or the students who are learning the B.A. course or doing the B.A. course, they need to empower themselves with the necessity of being a rock star teacher. The word is very, very crazy. But indeed, it is required. If you want the presence of the mind in the classroom, among the children, oh, they have no option but to sleep with their eyes open. They are doing that. You have to have excellence in combination of the thing is before you. You need to have a combination of being extraordinary, attractive, intelligent. And my paper there says that the children are smart. The definition of smart is systematic, meticulous, artistic, realistic and tactful. So you need to be extra tactful in the classroom to manage them well. And that is the definition of being a smart teacher because you are encountering a smart student in the classroom. Friends, the teaching profession is in transition. The way we learnt, we just cannot repeat the process in the classroom today. Gone are the days. Remember your history teacher. He used to enter the class and let you read and read and read. And there used to be teachers when he used to come in the class, okay children, I am on substitution, put your head down and go to sleep. <laughs> you can't do that now. Because if you are going as a substitute teacher, that's a learning lesson for you. That's a lesson for you when you can debate and interact with the children if some teacher is absent. It is for you and as an opportune moment to learn from your bosses. The real bosses are your children in the classroom who need to be satisfied on a continuous basis. And they are the real bosses. In order to engage, I have few points and I wish I will be completing it within my time, but they are very, very important. First thing is, you need to make them feel that life always offers you a second chance and that is called is tomorrow. You have to tell them, children, you can do it. Children, I want 100 out of 100 out of all you children there in my subject. And repeat it every day. Repeat it every day. So they develop a special love and attraction for your subject and then for you. Maximum number of times it is seen that the children will only take interest in the subject if they like the teacher. They will never like the subject if they don't like the teacher. So the teacher has to have all the capacities of being a leader in the classroom. He has to make use of the word management. M-A-N-A-G-E-M-E-N-T which means manage men tactfully. And your children are of course men. They are no longer kids. They are young adults. Treat them as young adults and that is what they are looking forward to. The first way to engage them is create an emotionally safe classroom for them in the classroom. Everyone should be happy to raise his or her hand to answer your question. There shouldn't be any phobia inside the classroom. The second which is equally important is create an intellectually safe classroom for the children. At times what we do is we ask the questions in the classroom to make them quiet. Okay, answer me. And the children say, Yaar, baat mat karo, otherwise there will be a question and I will be sent out of the class because I will not be knowing the answer. 
So try to engage the children by asking the questions. Actually, otherwise the teachers ask questions which 95% of the children can't answer in the class. Because the objective of the teacher is to make the class quiet so that the learning should happen. The other way is ask the questions which more than 95% of the children can answer so that they are engaged and they'll raise their hand. Ma'am, 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 I can do it, I can do it, I have the answer. And listen to the involvement and the engagement after that. That is what we need to practice today. The next is cultivate the engagement meter. Involve them, as everyone has been talking about. We need to involve the child in the classroom in the teaching and the learning process. Next is, use the tools of problem solving. This is a slide which covers many of the CBSC requirements for the learning of the life skills in the CCE pattern. Out of them, the one is brainstorming, which is an orderly way of discussing and coming up with an idea. They sit in the form of a circle, they brainstorm, come out with ideas, write the ideas, implement those ideas, and that is what the learning happens. The next one is communicate with students, encourage their writing with a prompt, and remember. What is written down there? Can you read? Louder? Yes, because they are no longer kids, they are young adults. So out of irritation, we at times tell them, come on, get out of the class. So we have to see that we don't repeat that. Explain your ideas. Explain your ideas and let the children come up with the explanation of the idea as well. Teach them how to be self-aware about the knowledge. Contribute in developing their knowledge by activities. Let them think and answer. Give them two minutes. Children, I want the answer, but after two minutes, please do a little discussion among yourselves and come out with the answer. So they are very happy. Oh, ma'am has given me time. Let me discuss. Right? Then, of course, we need to engage them through pride and polishing. The child says over there, stop being rude. They don't feel good about it. So these are the probabilities which obviously we need to encounter. Above all, praise in public, criticize in private. That's obviously we are following among our, uh, uh, our peer group as well. But for the children, because children are no longer kids, they are young adults. They feel it, right? Not to complain about your life and your students in the class. Tell them they can. Tell them they can and create a wow experience in the classroom. W-O-W. That is what everybody is looking forward to. Wow! Wow! Because the moment you enter the classroom, either the children say, Oh, ma'am, are going. Or they say, Ha, oh, ma'am has come. So with the ha and the ho, you can make out whether the teacher is a welcome step inside the classroom or not. You have to create that wow experience, friends, and see how you are a changed teacher the next day. Today, the teachers... IT literacy has to be somewhat more than typing papers and getting information from the internet. It has to be, you need to be socially networked, you need to have blogs, you need to have a website, you need to have some published documents and obviously children will be very happy when they Google you and they find you of many links. That is a, one of the qualities of being a rock star teacher and I'll just hurry up, I know the time is over. Yeah, these are no longer the programming skills or the IT skills for the teacher. We need to have, and that is what I demand at this platform is, let the teachers create their cloud presence. And out of the very simple means is, the first website mentioned over there is the script.com, which you must be knowing as well, but for the teachers who don't know, please no, have a note of it. You can easily upload any document free of cost, even using the Facebook ID, and you become uh, having a published document. You become a publisher there. Let your children publish documents using the script platform. This presentation you will find on script.com by writing my name on the script search window. 
so this is the request from my side and to be an extra flavor too of being a wonderful teacher the other website allows you to create your website create your website free of cost in just 10 minutes if you know how to operate your mobile phone you can create your website using tripod.com and please do it and be a rock star teacher next time when you enter the classroom share your link and and script ids for the documents you have uploaded and let the children get out of it get the maximum of it and that is what i wanted to share the next thing which ultimately comes out as a teacher with me is that create your own vocabulary of the subject let the children come after it for example history it can be a for akbar b for barber uh, barber c for chanakya d for anything in chemistry it can be or physics it can be a for ammeter b for barometer c for cathode ray tube for computers it could be because my subject is computers it could be bandwidth blog blogger so let them create their own dictionary about your subject of thought and i assure you that will deliver a better learning and better engagement of theirs in the classroom right and with this i just want to tell you that be a bird rather an eagle and fly above the clouds so that you don't face the rain challenges are there before you and they will be there before you but be like an eagle fly above the clouds so that you don't face the rain and that is what with the uh, with the coming up of the new standard new demands every day we i have made a little community by the name of rockstar teachers you can go and just like that community and you'll find wonderful posts there with this i would like to thank you for for being a patient listener and i i request you please follow this in your classroom activities thank you and may god bless, bless us all thank you